Steam. Holy crap! What the hell? All right, hold on, everyone. I need to check the recording now. Yeah, so Steam minimized my game and attempted to tell me that it downloaded a new patch. Yeah, screw you, Steam. I don't freaking care. Please don't do that while I'm playing a game. I don't care about the patch you downloaded. It can wait. Nope, not brave enough. I heard another pair of footsteps somewhere. might be a batch for a few of them at the same time, but the more of them I can incapacitate, the easier this firefight will end up being. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Here's my inventory. So we don't need this. We don't need this. Oh, we have another one of these. Um, let's improve our crossbow. That one. I'm dropping it up here because of the sound alert all of the other guards if there are any others left let's now check and see if the cameras can tell us if there's anyone else still in this facility one guard That I can see at least. Let's wait a little bit until my Costco decides to be a little more accurate. Okay, he's friendly, that must be for Shtick. He's in here. Guy in a cone, I'm checking it out. There. Give yourself up. I gotcha.
looks like we just discarded. And now we flip more the darts. Alright, that, that, that went rather well. All things considered. First actual firefight, how are we holding up? We took some a little bit of fire to my torso and arms. We can use a single med kit. We'll heal the majority of that. Careful. Point, point blank engagement against another one of them will do us in. So there was another. Good. They did not hurt poor Shtick. Your attempt to get me. I guess he was too important to them to actually allow that to happen. Alright, we made it! From Debt Administration to J. Stewart, MJ12 Chemical Insertion. As requested, access codes have been changed. Your new access code is login J Stewart, password JS1357. Be sure to change the password after you log on. I'm just going to copy this. for the computer terminals in the sewer facility. All right, now let's see what they were looking at. This is fascinating. Anything behind this, by the way? No. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 12. A lot of people say this city looks like hell, Hallie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette. The glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. Most people never been to hell, Jacob said. She looked at him, and he could hear her, the smile in her voice. I suppose you have? Jacob said nothing, then stood and walked to the bed. Allie let out a small noise and shrank back against the pillows, as if she'd claw her way into them if she could. He leaned close to her ear. You like to play games, he whispered. And that's fine. But you don't want to be playing games with me, because I'm the one honest man in this city. You should know that, since we're married. The man who was Thursday. Oh, we've already seen that one. Alright. What have these guys been looking at? J. Stewart. J.S. 1357. Our chemist. W.S. Is this the same IP address we saw before? Hold on, hold on a second. This is Upnet. J. Stewart up net. Subject the chemist. You're concerned about his behavior is unwarranted. However, once initial trial is completed, you may eliminate him at your discretion. Company picnic. To everyone, the company picnic has been moved from July 21st to July 28th. Please note this on your calendars. Employees on duty or otherwise unavailable receive a bonus as compensation instead. See you there. Harleen Quinzel, Human Resource Director, Operation Central. A frown is just a smile turned upside down. These, this is an organization. This is actually a really interesting email because it means that this is a group with holidays, vacation, benefits, just like everyone else. This, to me, it would indicate indeed a government agency. Security Central. System hacking. We've had several attempts to hack into the main Daedalus system. Mostly amateur tunneling stunts that don't require a judicial response. However, in keeping with the standard protocols, level 1 lock system codes have been changed. The new code is 2167. This will work within the complex, but isn't valid for exterior access. Those systems are on a separate grid, as is the armory. Pass this code on to those with the proper clearances. Archie Raymond, Central Security. Never blame malice for that which can adequately be blamed on stupidity. I thought it was ignorance. R. Feynman. Delivery. 178543 Yeah, so that must be his the IP address being sent to that. The main shipment will be arriving shortly, so ensure all the chlorine delivery tests are completed. 
The recommendation of the water treatment facilities for insertion has been approved. Your studies of vector diffusion and initial casualty counts were persuasive. The vectors, the vectors are all wrong. He knows what he's talking about. And he does know what he's talking about. Are they performing tests here? I guess we'll find out when we talk to um, Mr. Shtick. First, though, I noticed that there is that door there. Can we get in there? I thought I saw an option to do that from this system. Awesome. Assault rifle ammo, we're all filled up on that now. Some WP rockets. I don't know what those are. Pistol rounds, shotgun shells, a riot prod. That is actually a charger for our prod. An EMP grenade. That's wonderful. Oh, hello. A scrambler grenade and a gas grenade. Scrambler grenades. These will be, we'll be using much later on in the game. These allow you to temporarily convert a machine to be on your side, a robot in particular. Rockets, another prod charger. Wow, and a law. We also have a med kit. Light anti-tank weapon, law. The law provides cheap, dependable, anti-armor capability in the form of an integrated one-shot rocket and delivery system. Though at the expense of any laser guidance, like other heavy weapons, the law can slow agents who are not trained with it extensively. So if we were to equip that weapon... ...and take it out... Because we have the heavy weapons, this thing will slow us down. We cannot run while this is equipped. I do not intend to actually use this anytime soon. Maybe we will end up doing so, though. I was, I've always been a big fan of the law. <laughs> well, let me try to rephrase this. I've been a, a big fan of this bazooka because it doesn't consume a lot of space. Other heavy weapons, the Gep gun, for example, requires eight spaces to have it. The law requires just four, making it much more portable. You must be Ford Chick. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. Make a break for it. I'll protect you. Here I go. We've already cleared out everyone, so this should be no problem. This way, this way. See smuggler. Tell him I'm all right. We'll do, Mr. Schnick. Good luck. We're gonna explore the remainder of this area, though. Looks like there were two books in there and one final room. I didn't see any guards or hear anyone making any sounds, and I have a hunch they would have popped out. So I don't think we're in any danger. What was the passcode again? Oh, I don't... I don't actually know. I thought we picked it up, but apparently we did not. Oh, we can always use a... Another keypad if I need to. Chlorine and water treatment. Report for the New York City Council, 2053. 
On the other hand, opponents claim chlorine compounds can cause cancer, infertility, or birth defects. However, recent research indicates that the increased risk of cancer from chlorinated water is minimal or non-existent. For example, a 2034 tox toxicological study found no carcinogenic effects at chlorine concentrations a thousand times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency revised Kyoto standards. And the International Agency for Research on Cancer concluded population studies on cancer rates were too flawed to draw any conclusions. Water chlorination is just one target for some activists. They advocate eliminating some or all the 15,000 chlorine compounds now in use. This would include most plastics, almost 85% of pharmaceuticals, and 96% of crop protection chemicals. Yet most of the chlorine in the world occurs naturally. The annual global emission of some 1,500 naturally occurring chlorinated organic chemicals totals 5 million tons, compared to human emissions of chlorine compounds of only 26,000 tons. Wow. That's quite a difference. I wouldn't, I myself wouldn't see what to, what to panic about if that is true. A multi-tool and a lockpick? That's a, quite a nice find, actually. We're back up to ten and eight of them. Oh, that was a mistake. I, I can pick up books? What? Really? I never realized that before. Nanotechnology for stupid people. Feel like a moron because folks sling around the word words like universal constructor, gray goo, mechanocarbons, and bulky tubes. Well, no longer. Nanotechnology for stupid people will guide you through the small, small world of tiny machines. Why is this important? Why should you care? Imagine a million microscopic robots, no bigger than a red blood cell, constantly scouring your arteries for plague and cholesterol. Imagine a supercomputer the size of your thumbnail that can record everything you see and hear. Imagine buildings that assemble themselves overnight. Well, imagine no longer. The future is here, or soon will be. And it's made of little atoms. That's right, atoms. The building blocks of all matter in the universe. Nanotechnology simply pushes the little building blocks around to make new, interesting, exciting things. Even now, scientists worldwide are making huge strides in perfecting the universal constructor that will make a nanotechnological future possible. But already the benefits are being reaped from their research. You'll learn the history, the inside scoop, the buzzwords, and what the future holds. All inside nanotechnology for stupid people. Stupid people. When you don't have two neurons to rub together. Check out our other books, including the best-selling Pandemics for Stupid People and Cooking Dog for Stupid People. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Oh, okay. That's, yes. Oh, you know what? I would like to see what's in here. I don't remember if we learned the passcode for it. And there is nothing in here. What is this place? I would really like that. Can we get it? Let's save the game first before we jump into this horrible... Looks like death. Lockpick. All right, so we ch exchanged a nano tool for a lockpick, giving us nine of each. That's not a bad trade. Okay, that that secures this area. I guess we have a few more minutes. Let's go and see if S Smuggler is happy with what we've done for him and his friend. I'm just glad now to have rescued him. Also, I thought that was a little ridiculous, wasn't it? When we just walked into Smuggler's home and we, we walked into the, the Smuggler's. I'm assuming that's his home. Maybe it's his maybe it's his place of work and not where he actually sleeps, but there is that that bed upstairs. I mean, we just walk in and then ask if he if he's paranoid. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine if you just came home one day and there was a guy in your house and he was like so uh uh, well, hold on. And, and you also had like a security system, right? Or some cameras. And you walk in and you see anything in the cameras or what have you. And this guy's sitting on your, on your sofa and he says, So, what do you have a security system? You don't trust people? <laughs> you have no idea who this person is. Of course! The security system is there to keep people like you out of the house. <laughs> I'm glad he was very, um... He didn't mind so much that we were there. Okay, so 
We want to visit the hotel. You know what? We're right here. So let's let's do that. Well, I'm glad they made it. So am I. Who are we talking about again? Oh, that's right. The hostages. I want to visit the ATM. And this one is going to be 5436545544. Oh. Or it's not. So, so be it. We will just hack this one. Oh, that one must be to the terminal outside in the subway then. We already hacked that though. 116. I saw your daughter Sandra down the block. She didn't look so good. Sandra? Was she coming back to the hotel? I ran off a thug who was harassing her, but she's still mixed up in some pretty nasty business. You better talk to her. No. No more talking. If you see her, tell her I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. I'll tell her she can trust you. I should probably go find her. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he probably should go find her and tell her in person. But while we're in the area, we'll go ahead and do this as well. Well, I'm glad they made it. So am I. I think he says the same thing over and over again. Okay, so we're here. We'll stop by the Tan Hotel. I'm sorry, the Underworld Bar or Tavern or both. Is there a difference between a tavern and a bar? I don't think there is, right? They're the same thing. Mind your own business. Okay, I guess we can't tell her anything. Guess she's rebelling. Her voice makes it sound like she's older, though. She sounds like she's in her mid-30s, at least. I suppose she could just have a deep voice. Effective crowd control? What's that supposed to mean? That, that is a good point. What is effective crowd control supposed to mean? Sorry, he's a little worked up. That's, that's fine. I can understand if you thought he was getting a real grenade and then gets a gas grenade. The gas grenades are still very effective. You saw that with them, we were able to keep the hostages alive, but yet kill the terrorists. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Well, sometimes the elevator just crashes, so let's save the game. Yeah, like right there. The elevator didn't actually show up. Okay, okay. We'll be taking that way out as opposed to the ladder on the side. Oh wow, the dead rat's still there. Also, I didn't notice Ford Schick on the way out. Maybe he's actually hanging out here this time? I don't see him. However, smugglers upstairs. I'm sure he won't mind. This can't possibly be his actual home. I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Oracle says, and shtick. No email day for shtick, and we didn't get enough time to see what was on his email. In a way, this is regrettable, because he's up here, blocking what's behind that mirror, and I think there's a bunch of weapon mods there. I got your friend out. Ford, is he alright? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits, a bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. I don't need the scope because my pistol is used for running around combat. I don't need an electrical cell for 250. We're already, I think, at half our maximum. Our light amplification goggles will not be worth 1,200, uh, 1,125 because they don't last that long. Not interested. Well, 
you know where to find me. Thanks again for finding Ford. No problem. Smuggler. I'm, uh... I'm gonna wait until you turn around. <laughs> I'm gonna open this up. I'm also gonna drink your soda, because it heals three hit points, and I'll use a few hit points. Everyone, I'm gonna... S oh, and the book. That's right, there was a book here we didn't read. Let's see if he... I don't think he can mind. Let's save the game. Is that case? Basic firearm safety rules. Never point a firearm at anyone or anything you do not intend to shoot. Before handling any firearm, understand its operation. Always have your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Keep your firearm unloaded when not in use. Treat every firearm as if it were loaded. Never pass your firearm to another person until the cylinder or action is open and you visually check that it is unloaded. Place your finger inside the trigger guard only when you are ready to fire. Alright, a weapon modification clip. Some... Is that thermal optic camouflage? Yeah, thermal optic camouflage. That's incredible. We'll put that onto our pistol. Can now hold eight bullets maximum. Awesome. We'll, uh, we'll pretend that he gave us that stuff for rescuing his friend. Okay, and now that will do it for us, everyone. Thank you for watching. I think that wraps up also Hell's Kitchen. So, I think we have enough information to know that the Osgood place is where we're supposed to be going next. So, I think we'll head over that way and then work our way into what I guess will be the warehouse district. And we'll see about negotiating the hostile territory and then deactivating whatever EMP field or what have you they have in place. So, we'll do that then. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.